My name is Ben Horn and I am a large format landscape photographer. And today we're gonna to talk about the basics of getting up and running with the Intrepid 4x5 camera. So this is what it looks like when the Intrepid 4x5 is in its folded state. And this is how it'll look when it arrives. On the bottom of the camera is a standard tripod socket. And I've already installed a quick release plate here for the ball head that I'll be using. And what we find is that the weight of this camera is very similar to a digital SLR camera. And as a result, any tripod that's just fine for a digital SLR camera will work great on the Intrepid 4x5. So I'm going to start by mounting the camera to the tripod, and then we're going to show you how to get everything opened up and ready to shoot. So we're going to start by loosening these knobs here in the back and swinging the rear standard open just like that. And as soon as it stops, we're just going to go ahead and lock these knobs in place. Next up, we're going to take the front standard and kind of move it out of the way here and you'll see that there's a knob right here. And there are three different holes to place this knob in, and it's gonna to correspond to which lens you're using. For this demonstration, I'm using a 150 millimeter lens, which means that the middle hole will be best. If you're using a wide angle lens, the hole near the back is the best. A uh, normal lens, the middle hole is great. If you're using a longer lens, like a 210 or a 300 millimeter, the front hole is probably gonna be your best option. So we can go ahead and remove this screw and at this point, these knobs are all loose, which allows me to slide this out of the way. I'm going to take this knob, place it through the hole on the base, and you'll see that there's a slot as well as an indent. I'm going to place that screw right in the indent, and we're going to put it right in the middle hole right here. On the base right here, you'll see that there are some marks that allow you to kind of zero in the setting, and I'm going to make sure it all lines up across the base there. I'm going to lock that screw in place. Next, we're going to need to uh, adjust the front standard and lock it in place. This is where you can either move it up and down and also adjust tilt, and that's all controlled by these knobs right here on the front. There is an indent, so if I pull this up, it will drop into an indent, and that will allow me to keep it at a predetermined spot. And again, I'm going to want to zero this out so that the wood part here on the front is flush with the metal part and once it looks like that we're going to lock it down. As far as mounting the lens, so this is a Nikon 150 millimeter normal lens. It is on an Intrepid lens board. Uh, you can also use any of the Linhoff Technica type lens boards with this camera. To mount the lens, I'm going to move this slider out of the way, drop the lens in place, and put it back down there, and now we have the lens mounted in place. In order to focus the camera, we have these two knobs. Uh, the one you'll touch with your left hand is going to be to loosen it, and then the one with your right hand is going to be for focusing. So to focus the camera, it's as easy as turning that knob to loosen it, focus it with the right knob, and then lock it back down with the left knob. The Intrepid 4x5 has a full range of front movements. I'm going to cover those in depth in another video. But now, let's take a look at the back of the camera. So I'm going to flip this around here so we have a nice view of the ground glass on the back of the camera. And this is where you have the ability to choose between shooting in the horizontal or the vertical orientation. If you want to switch between the two, it's as easy as simply rotating the back of the camera just like that. There's magnets that secure the back in place and it's really easy to switch between the two of them. When it comes to inserting film holders, it's pretty easy. So this is a Toyo film holder, and to insert that, you simply lift back right here and drop that film holder right into the back of the camera. And you wanna have a nice solid click when it drops in place. I always make a habit of kind of wiggling that a little bit just to make sure it's properly seated. And whenever you pull a dark slide, it's really important to squeeze the back of the camera so when you pull that dark slide out, you don't have to worry about pulling the film holder away from the back of the camera. And to pull the film holder out, you simply pull it out just like that. This camera also features a graph lock back. So if you are wanting to put a roll film back on the camera, all you have to do is pull these cords out here and you can remove the ground glass. And now with these clips here, you have the ability to attach a roll film back which can be nice if you want to shoot panoramas or anything else along those lines. And now it's time to fold the camera right back up again. So I'm going to flip it back around here so we get a nice view of it there. And we're going to go ahead and start by pulling the lens off of the camera, just like that. With that off, I like to go ahead and loosen these guys. 
and I'm going to loosen the screw right here. Now I'm going to kind of collapse this guy back in. Also make sure that the front is nice and flush there so that there's not any focusing that has been applied. And once you kind of get that in there, you're going to drop this guy back down, loosen these knobs, and your camera is folded. And there you have it. That's all you need to know to get up and running with the Intrepid 4x5 camera. The next video in the series deals with lens selection and camera movements. We'll see you around.